Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. I asked you guys if you wanted to see a new profile run, and the answer across the board was yes. I don't want to do this all the time. For, for instance, when the next patch comes out, I don't want to do a new profile run to see what it's like. But it's been long enough since we started the game, and a lot of content has been added since we started the game, that I actually think taking a look at what the new player experience is like going into Rogue Legacy 2 now actually makes a lot of sense. They've added enough content to the game to surpass the entirety of Rogue Legacy 1, and we still only have two, three bosses that are, that are fully in the game with a few more to come. So we're gonna start a new legacy. The time has passed and they have not returned. The estuaries have decayed. The kingdom demands deliverance. Sign the contract and your children shall succeed you. That's such a cool castle. This time when we're building our castle, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stick more to magic classes. So the right side of the tree, rather than the left side of the tree. Left side of the tree is all physical damage, which makes barbarians really fucking strong, rangers really strong, and also the gunslinger, I think, which funny enough is located on the right side of the tree. Uh, so we're gonna be seeing hopefully more mages this playthrough than we did in the last one. That's a similar concept to what we did with... Oh, I don't have double jump. Uh, similar concept to what we did with uh, Rogue Legacy 1. We had a mage playthrough just to see how it would go. Okay, I'm going to read these. We've managed to cross the water undiscovered. A few guards patrolled the rest walls, but we were able to remove them without raising a signal. At sundown, we'll start descending the wall. Provisions should be waiting for us at the top. From Jay. Of course, we've already read every single note in the game, I think. But just in case you're just now getting on board, you know, we have subscribers come and go all the time. Maybe you haven't seen Rogue, Leg Rogue Legacy 2 before. Rogue Legacy 1 was like one of. It was just such an impactful game for me. I loved it from the time I picked it up to the time I put it down. Just a great title. Oh yeah, we can spin kick off the stuff in the wall. I haven't really needed to do that in a long time. The diving bell cables we need to pass the interior ramparts were waiting for us just like Z promised, but our scouts underestimated how much we need. We're short a few hundred feet. Looks like we'll have to get creative with this one. Just breathe and then swim the rest of the way. Oh, I left that money and I'm never ever going to get it back so since we started playing this game oh i have to take damage here since we started playing this game the it's not resilience is it resilience there's a system in place where our the weight of our gear resilience is that what is that what it's just called does it say here Anyway, because we're in light gear, we could use more relics. So that actually, that'll actually be really, really fun for our new player experience. We're going to be able to utilize relics from the very beginning. That's actually cool. Looks like I've underestimated Z and her charisma again. Below me, I can see the heads of all the misfits that have joined our ranks. When did so many rebels join? From here, it seems like an endless sea. This was supposed to be a suicide mission meant for only a few. She unknowingly rallied these souls to a lost cause and my mistakes just keep on growing. At least we're inside now. I can dash across that, you see that? I still fucking got it, dude. Oh, can I not dash in the air? I sure can't. Ugh. <laughs> it's weird going back. It's like forgetting how to ride a bike and having to go through training wheels again. This is it. 
the end of the line below us, there's a trick door which can only be opened by magic. Z says it should lead us straight to the estuaries. I think I skipped some. Where's the trap door? Oh, it's the crack in the wall. Get you looking for those early. That's good. This one's just straight through. In our first run already. All right, every single dollar that can be picked up is valuable here. We have nothing spent in a castle. So it's actually really important that for once I actually break all the objects. How's our damage looking? We're two swings for axes. Three swings for soldiers. We do have a good spell. I'm gonna dip down here and just see what this room's about. I think that goes over my head. I think we're fine. Our spell wasn't that bad. These enemies don't change trajectory with their fire bolts, so that's good. Leather weapon! A beautiful piece of withered leather. Um, can I break that? Beautiful. I am going to try to get in the habit of using our spells pretty often. I mean, I do need to regenerate the mana from hitting stuff. But if we want to have a focus on a mage play style, it doesn't really matter which character we're on. Our spells are going to hit pretty hard. I can't reach that guy. Let me go around. I hate not being able to dash in the air. It feels so weird. Uh, aerial recovery. Ow. Oh, damn. That damage is going to stick, huh? Let's go after this chest on the left. This looks like a good time to... Well, we took out the dagger at least. Can I hit you some more for some free mana? Thank you! Yo, if we could get like two grand this first run, I'd be really happy. That would be so good. Shit, if we could just see most of the first biome. I don't even think that's possible. I don't think I'm that good at this game. But even if we could, like, find where the boss room is, I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, so I can't get up there because I can't dash. So we're going to leave that one alone. Heading off to the right now. We know the next area is likely located off to the right. Still can't use my mana. Let's get out of his way. Is that a dollar? Oh, it wasn't worth taking the damage. Ah! Shit. Oh, you know what might be fun, though? Is just specking into critical hits. Is that even a thing I can do? Spell crits? Have relatively low damage most of the time and then fucking crit with spells? I just really like the new text they added for for the when you get critical hits the comic book style stuff i've talked about it a lot i don't think i want to talk about it anymore <laughs> i'm just a fan our thumbnails since the redesign i was trying to be inspired by comics i don't know if anyone ever picked up on that i took an old marble logo and uh that had spider-man in it don't get hit is the challenge you might be able to do that I took an old Marvel Spider-Man logo and uh, like traced it, but put my chicken emote in it. Nice! Trace like the spacing, the dimensions of the rectangle, and that's at the top left of every one of our, every one of our thumbnails, our little chicken stand. Uh, generational delayed gratification. Gain more gold with a bounty rune. Can I just say, I'm glad I was talking about something, because when I got to that spike area, I think I would have started panicking really fucking bad. Two enemies down. Burn to death, sir. I wonder if this is always the starting spell or if we just got really lucky, because it seems to be doing some great work. We have our first high level enemy here. One fireball was enough. Our first piece of iron. Look at that! 
Our very first piece. Oh shit. Hell yes. This guy's new. This was certainly not in the game when we started. He allows us to swap out certain parts of our class feature. So the paladin, the knight, whatever I'm called, can block normally. Now we can make platforms. Did you see that? We already used it. It already paid off. Uh, if we attack from those platforms, enemies will also be poisoned. Although without having a ranged auto attack, that might be a little difficult. Some chicken. We're healing. We're doing it. Ooh, that was not close. Uh, I'll hang out here for a second. We'll try to focus this mage. Easy. We still got to take out that eyeball above us with the homing shots. Oh, that was beautiful. Having the spell focus is kind of fun. I'm into it. Okay. What if I come back with mana? You know what? Never mind. I'm ready. Let's do it. Come here, assholes. <laughs> I told you I was ready, dude. I'm here to fucking game today. The leather, leather chest, a beautiful piece of withered leather. Oh, by the way, this will probably just be the profile we continue to play on when the next patch comes out. I think we'll lay our first one to rest. Ah, it's had many victories. It's done well. The Scholar Sword. Actually don't remember. Ooh, I have a problem. I would have fallen all the way down to the bottom there. I don't remember the hierarchy of weapons. I do know with some of the upgrades, like leather's actually not bad. <gasps> Two chicken, you're kidding. Okay, now we're gonna jump back up. Perfect. Nice. 1,000 gold, we did it. We're halfway to the, we're halfway to where we're trying to go. Oh, and we have a relic challenge. I think we get healed going into these. Oh, who here has stumbled into my abode, sweet child? <laughs> Hast thou lost thine way? I am Anarchy of the Shaw. I am an heirloom, an item of immeasurable power, and I can grant my power to those I deem worthy. Those who typically seek me are hardened, powerful warriors, but you, dear child, are soft and pudgy. So very pudgy. Inside me lies the power of momentum. Conquer my challenge and my power is yours. But I warn you, child, the dangers are real and the consequences are severe. All right, we're going in. These apparently have been improved since we experienced them as well. There's like checkpoints and stuff and... You don't go all the way back to the start if you take damage. So is this how we learn to dash in the air? Oh my goodness, I forgot that wasn't just baseline. That feels so good to have back. Um. Hey, what's up with the ceiling? Is that necessary? You stay the fuck over there. Ow! Hey, that was pretty good damage. I don't hate that. We just gotta, we gotta play this one smart. We're okay, fireball here, fireball, I can't do it again. Up! Oh! These plat, ouch, did see him. These platforms make great blocks for when they're trying to charge, actually. We get a lot of distance. Oh! <laughs> oh man, what are you fucking kidding? I think those eyes were supposed to be a pretty significant challenge. Luckily for us, we hit them through the fucking wall. Almost ran into that wizard on the right side. Glad we're okay. Oh my God, did you see that? Perfect acrobatics. Perfect. Is this man a gamer? Should I hit the thumbs up button? <gasps> no, I guess not. Let me take it back. Ooh, dash to the right, double jump. Didn't even touch the ground that time. Okay, where am I trying to go here? 
Oh no! So I believe before we would have gone all the way back to the beginning if we touched the ground there, but there's those little checkpoints that just help you get across these. And our first heirloom unlocked. Congra Congratulations, sweet child. You have proven yourself worthy. Now come and claim your inheritance, the power of momentum, and let our souls bind together. Now, whenever we come back here to this re to this heirloom location, there'll be relics waiting for us as well. And I finally have mobility that I'm used to using. It feels good. Uh, we're gonna wait for his cast to finish. Now go through. Another heirloom? Can we? Oh, we sure can. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, look what we have here. It looks like another spirit comes to roost. You seeking power too, right? Well, let me tell you something, kiddo. I see all beyond lies, beyond ego, and beyond time. I see the apex of emotions where the truth is laid bare. And you know what? I see when I look at you, a scared little kiddo with snot coming out of your nose and poop coming out of your butt. <laughs> kiddo, you're ugly. And on the, out on the outside and on the inside, huh? Interesting. How many people you got in there, kiddo? Cause you ain't no normal soul, that's for sure. Well, I don't know what game you're playing, but I won't stop you from taking my challenge. Joining you looks like it might be some fun. A word of advice, kiddo, I'm the power of empathy. Use it well to pass the trials. Listen to those that have fallen before and you learn from the failures of others. And maybe, just maybe, you'll have a chance. Well, shit, a full heal and another challenge awaits us. I'm in, dude. <laughs> no one saw that. No one, no one saw that. Am I supposed to go down? I think so. Lost again. Every path I've taken is wrong. All right, Demetrius, calm down. Remember the morals that your elders have taught you. He who gives you two choices hides a third. Been down here for hours, not sure what to do. Obstacles are just hidden opportunities. What do the elders mean? Could I use these spinning chains to my advantage? I'm too scared to try to find out. You know, maybe this is something I actually need to work on because um, whenever these show up, I always just take damage. So if I stay a little bit off to the side, you can just kind of bounce off the top of those. Oh. Aerial recovery. 28 damage every time you get hit. So clearly you don't want to take too many hits. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Okay. What? 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 Okay. And then... Oh, I thought I was going to hit my toes. So not perfect, but we're doing it. I feel like I struggled with this one when we first encountered it as well. Oh God. There's a nightmare ahead. The elders said they're powerful, nihilistic thoughts that have been grown and festered. Violence begets violence. If you attack or cast a spell anywhere nearby, it'll wake them up and retaliate. Stay calm and they will not attack. Okay, doors open, we're moving, we're moving. Dash, dash. Double jump. Dash back. Oh! oh, come on. That one didn't count. How many circles am I in here? Oh, two. Fucking shit. We still got enough HP. We can do it. One can accomplish with kindness what one cannot by force. If you reach the nightmare ahead of me, perhaps you can calm it down. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, scary red thing. Turn off. Here, let's just turn that one off and then fight on this side. Do I need to go over now? Okay, changing. That wasn't bad. 
I can reach that one, but my platform disappeared after I did it. Gotta stay here. It's about to fade. Ah! <gasps> oh, that was lucky. Oh, wait, wasn't there a fun thing you could do on this one? <laughs> That's so good. Uh, I kind of can't get up to this yet. There we go. This it's okay. That one definitely landed. It's about to awake again. <gasps> Completely missed. And they're kind of up there guarding it. Nice! Good spell, though. Pushes me through. <gasps> and we've done it. Hey, good grace, kiddo. You showed me you could listen. You know, that'll take you far. Remember, people may lie, but emotions always tell the truth. Oh, and one more thing, kiddo. Sometimes it pays to make emotional connections with your enemies. I know you'll be tussling. I know who you'll be tussling with. You should know, too. Now, enough chatter for the day. Come on, kiddo. Receive my power of empathy. And let this journey and take this journey on the road. Nice. So now we can interact with memories and learn subplots of what's going around, gain insights on some things that are happening inside of the castle. Our, our clear is actually not going that bad. We have 75 HP, which is not a ton, but I mean, we can at least start looking for more. I really miss my double jump. We might do a hard push to get the double jump. It feels really weird playing without it. No charging, perfect. You stay up there, or that's even better, thank you. That was actually so kind. Oh, you too, wow, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, fuck the boss room. Fuck. I don't know how he does it, but I keep losing the matches trail. There's no other choice. If we want to leave this island, we'll have to enter the throne room. The doors are sealed shut with magic. Only this royal routine can open them, but I have seen how they do it. There are two lit. Yeah, basically, you have to have the oh do i need a double slide mm. there we go i just needed to be a little more in the center uh i don't think i'm gonna do the boss yet i think we keep exploring a beautiful beautiful piece of withered leather if we do the boss, I mean, maybe we can kill it, but we're probably just going to die. Why would we want to end the run when there's still so many more things to collect? Oh, I forgot you were going to fly off. Okay, maybe we just make our way out of here kind of quickly. Oh, shit. Well, never mind. It looks like our run has come to a close. Sir Caleb has been slain by a Steffens. Yo, Sir Caleb, our first hero. I don't know what we call them. Two heirlooms in the very first run. Very, very, very happy with that. Wow, what a wide array of heroes that we could play. They're both? All of them start out with two traits. No way. Uh, Lady Meg does have the gravity beam. I am a fan. Although we may be able to switch out to another class depending on how this goes. Universal Health Stare. Welcome to the future. Your kingdom has decided to tax the rich to care for the poor. A conscientious decision per, for sure. Let's see how it, play, how it pans out. I can't read. 
lost the ability. First class we unlock is the Ranger. We are going to be swapping to the Ranger right now. I see only benefits there. We should also unlock the Smithy. We have 1,000 gold left. So let's take what we earned, go to the Smithy. Hey, thanks for helping me build back my shop, kid. I ain't got a lot to my name, but I promise you, your investment into this here black smithery will pay off black wisely. <laughs> uh, I can't make much right now because I don't have any blueprints, but if you and me work together, boy, we can start making some unimaginable things. And I mean that literally. Got to be some of that Anastasia. Can't see no pictures up in the noggin. That's why I need blueprints. Oh, that's a trait where you don't have an imagination. <laughs> so here's the deal. You give me blueprints and I'll charge you money to make them. It's a win-win because I get free blueprints and then I win again because I get a customer. <laughs> now let's stop diggly daggling and let me show you what I've got in the black back of this black shop. Uh, Scholar Weapon. Doesn't give us... Okay, hold on, sorry. Scholar Weapon gives us a plus four to strength, so we would want to buy that first. Uh, Leather Helm is 200. Resolve, it's not resilience, it's resolve. So let's get the better weapon. Leather Helmet, Leather Chest, Leather Cape, out of money. Still a pretty decent start, I would say. That's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. I don't think we're going to be taking on the boss next episode, but we're definitely going to work towards it. There's a room full of lights that we must find a secret in. Take care, everybody. See you again next time. Goodbye.